Hi everyone, it's Miss Rossi. Today we are going to create a project based on the Peter H. Reynolds book, Ish. What you will be needing today is a pencil, an eraser, and some things to color with. I have some markers here and some crayons that I'm going to use to add color to my picture, but you can use anything else you have to add color. We're also going to be using the page on my canvas page. That is our Ish Sketch Ideas page. Now this has all of the different things that Ramon drew in Peter H. Reynolds' story Ish as a way for us to practice drawing Ishly. So we have trees, house, boat, afternoon, excited, peace, sun, and fish. And then I also have a plain white piece of paper that I am going to use later on to create a larger version of one of my ideas from our ideas sheet. I'm using the paper labeled extra from your art folder. If you don't have this paper at home, you can use any other white piece of paper. I'm going to start with my ideas sheet, so I'm going to put my white paper to the side. In our story, we saw Ramon creating all different drawings. Now he said his drawings weren't perfect and described them as ish. So if he was trying to draw a tree, he called it tree-ish because it didn't look perfectly like a real life tree, but it was still a tree and it was still art and it was still beautiful. So inside each of our boxes, we're going to draw our own version of each of these items. Now, as you're drawing this, you can draw it to look realistic or you can make it abstract. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to look ish. So in our first box, it says tree-ish. So we're going to draw a picture of a tree. And again, not perfectly. It can be however you want it to look. It just needs to look tree-ish. So if you think it looks like a tree, then that is perfect. I'm going to start with my pencil. And now yours is going to look different than mine. I'm giving my tree some big curly branches. So it doesn't look like a real life tree but I think it is going to look tree-ish. And I'm going to decorate my tree trunk with some other big swirling designs. But your tree can look totally different than mine. Now I'm going to go in and sketch all of these out in pencil, and then I can pick which ones I like the best to add color to, so we can practice our color ideas as well. The next one says house-ish. So I'm going to draw a house. Now I'm using shapes and lines to make my drawings. And again, they don't have to look perfect. They just have to look ish. And this paper is just for practice. So it's okay if it's not exactly how you want it to look. It's just to practice some different ideas. Next one says boat-ish, so I'm going to draw a big crazy ocean with some waves. And you'll notice inside each of these I'm doing a full image. So I have a background and a sky with my house. My tree is taking up most of that box. We want our sketches and our ideas to be complete ideas to help us once we create our larger picture. So I'm making a nice big sailboat going through my water. I'm adding some decorations and designs on my boat, and I'm going to draw some birds in the sky. Now our next box says afternoon-ish. So now you can decide what you think afternoon-ish means. Do you want to draw a picture of what you do in the afternoon? Do you want to draw what the sky looks like in the afternoon? Or do you want to draw the feelings that you have in the afternoon? Now we like to spend our afternoons doing our specials classes. So maybe you want to draw your favorite specials class, or maybe you're eating snacks in the afternoon, or you're playing sports or watching TV with your friends. Your afternoonish picture can include all of these different things, or it can be a scene like we did with our boat and our house. I'm going to draw some different sports items in my afternoonish picture. I'm going to draw a nice big sun because I like to go outside in the afternoon. I am going to draw a pencil because I'm always making art in the afternoon. And I'm even going to draw a paintbrush and a palette of paint. You can decide what you want and what you think afternoon-ish means. The next one says fish-ish. 
So I'm going to draw a nice big fish. Now this could be an imaginative fish. It could be your favorite kind of fish. Again, it is all up to you what you want your artwork to look like. There is no right answer and there is no wrong answer. And again, we are just sketching, so there's always plenty of time to fix it and change things before we do our final drawing. This is just to get some ideas, and we are going to pick our favorite one later to draw nice and big on our paper. I'm going to draw some ear bubbles and some wavy lines for the ocean water. The next one is sun-ish. So you can decide what you think that is going to look like. Are you going to draw a nice, big, bright sun? Are there going to be any clouds? Is there going to be a rainbow? Or maybe you're thinking of something totally different. I'm going to use some crazy lines to make my sun. And I'm going to draw a nice, big cloud in the corner. So you can decide, again, if you want your pictures abstract, realistic. It is totally up to you. The next one we have is peace-ish. What do you think peace looks like? I'm going to draw some big swirling lines. Because when I think of peace, I think of calm colors, and I think of big swirls that are moving and working together. So maybe some of your pictures aren't even drawings of real things. Maybe they are just lines and shapes coming together to create something new. And then the last one is excited-ish. So what do you think excitement looks like? I think excitement looks like big bursts of color, almost like fireworks. I think excitement looks like fast lines and pointy shapes. I think excitement looks like happy faces and laughter. But what do you think excitement looks like? And how can you draw excitement? It can really look like anything. Maybe what you think excitement looks like looks different than what I do. Well, there we go. Now that I have all of my different designs drawn with my pencil, I can go in and add color to any of these to maybe help bring them to life and get a better idea of what I think I would want them to look like. I'm going to add some colorful lines to my peace-ish picture. When I think of peace, again, I do think of more cooler colors. They make me feel calm, like the ocean and a blue sunny sky and a field of grass. So I'm just going over some of my lines, adding new lines, swirling new colors in there to complete my peace picture. Now when I think of excited-ish, I think of bright colors bursting and swirling together. So I think I'm going to add some color to this one too. I think of my warm colors when I think of excitement. So my reds, my oranges, and my yellows, things that are bright and coming together to make a picture that is bursting with color. And now you don't have to color these in perfectly. Again, it's just to get an idea of what you think that picture would look like. And I think I'm going to add some color to my sun-ish picture as well. I think I want my sun-ish picture to be swirling lines of colors all coming together to create my glowing sun. If you want to color in any of your other pictures, you can do that too. I just picked my three favorite ones to add color to. Now that I'm done with my sketches, I'm going to pick which one of my boxes I want to make into a larger picture. We are going to recreate our ish drawing on our plain white paper to make it bigger, more detailed, and more exciting. So since these are just practice, I'm going to pick the one I liked the best to create again on a larger piece of paper. I think I am going to pick my sun-ish picture, so I'm going to circle that one, and I am going to grab my larger white piece of paper. You can decide if your picture is going to look better if you hold your paper longest going from left to right like landscape style, or if you think it would be better if you held your paper up and down so it is tallest going up and down portrait style. I think I am going to hold mine horizontally. So it is longest going left to right, but again, yours can be different. 
And with my pencil, I'm just going to sketch out that same picture I drew in my sunish box. And now again, we're still drawing Ishley. So it is okay if your picture is not perfect. You just want it to look ish. And what you think something looks like might look totally different than what someone else thinks or what I think, and that is okay. So I have my big sun and then I have a big cloud down at the bottom. Big swirls inside my cloud so it looks nice and big and fluffy. But otherwise, my picture is pretty abstract, just made up of lines and shapes. Here we go. I'm going to use some crayons and markers to color in my picture. I think I'm going to start by tracing over my picture with some different colored markers just so I can trace over the top of my pencil lines. I'm going to start with my cloud. You can decide what is going to work best to color in your picture. Maybe you want to use paints, markers, colored pencils, or crayons. Whatever you think is going to work best will be perfect. I'm going to use some reds and some oranges to trace over my sun lines. And it's okay if you do not trace your pencil lines perfectly, because we do have an eraser here that we can use to clean up our picture and erase any of those pencil lines that we missed. That's what my picture looks like with my markers done. So I'm going to grab my eraser and just erase all of those extra pencil lines. And then I'm gonna go in with my crayons, add even more lines for some more texture and start to color in my picture so it is fully bright and colorful. There we go. I am going to use my crayons and lightly color in most of the background. So I think I'm going to pick some yellow and some orange for my sun. And I'm going to pick some grays and purples and blues for my cloud. And inside my cloud, I'm just going to swirl all of these colors together. So I'm doing big spiral lines to fill in this area. I'm not coloring perfectly back and forth because I want to create a little bit of texture so my cloud looks different than the rest of my picture. Now I'm not really scribbling. I am just repeating the same line over and over again. Because again, we don't want this to look perfectly like a cloud. We just want it to look cloud-ish. Even though I'm not filling this in perfectly, I'm not coloring slowly back and forth like I normally would, I still filled in most of that white space and given it a fun new texture. Now I'm going to take my other crayons and I'm going to fill in the background by doing some crayon rubbings. I think this is going to be a fun way to fill in the rest of the space on my paper. So I'm holding my crayon sideways and rubbing back and forth to create big areas of color. I'm going to do this with a couple different colors. So now that I finished my yellow, I'm going to go in with my orange. And maybe I'll even go in with some red too. Looks pretty cool. I'm going to grab my yellow again. Awesome! So that is my sun ish paper all finished. It's 
doesn't look exactly like a sun in some clouds, but it looks sun-ish, which is perfect for what we are working on today. Once you're done with your ish drawing, you can take a photo or video of it and upload it on my Canvas page. I can't wait to see all of the different ish drawings you guys have created. Try your best, have fun, and get creative, and I'll see you soon. Bye!